was so frustrating because after you've actually monetized, you're like, yeah, I've done it. I'm here. I've arrived. No, ma'am. <laughs> Listen, the bugs. I'm like bees, spiders. It's just, I feel like I'm in the wilderness and I'm not. I'm just in the garden. Hey, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. If you have read the title, then you know that we're talking about my very first paycheck from YouTube. Exciting times. I'm so happy. I'm like... <laughs> Listen, it's so hard to get to this point, let me tell you. So thank you to my subscribers, all my friends, family, everybody for watching, sharing, doing the things, just thank you. But also I want to acknowledge the new faces because if you here, I feel like you're one of three people. One, you are already a subscriber, in which case, hey, good to see you, good to have you here again. Two, you're just doing some research, standard things, trying to figure out when do people get paid, how much do they get paid? Because YouTube is a genuine career and people are making such a good living. But what are those numbers? How do you even get there? Like, how does it work? Or three, you just want the tea. Like, you're just curious, you just want to know. Where do these people start? And does everyone get paid, gang? Or do you immediately start way up there and then it's just soaring from there? So I'm here to answer all those things. We're gonna chat through how you even get monetized to begin with. And then, of course, I'll be sharing what YouTube paid me for my very first paycheck. Righto, let's back it up a little bit and get some context up in here. So I posted my very first YouTube video in 2019. That was September. And that was actually mine and my husband's traditional wedding and we wanted to share it with our family and friends. So we thought YouTube's nice and easy. Let's put it on there, send links, great. So from the video, I had 90, it was either 92 or 94 four subscribers so that's what i officially actually started my channel on when i got serious about it when i actually decided i want to create content i want to put out vlogs and all the good things so between that very first video that was for family and my official first vlog years apart <laughs> so that first one was september of 2019 and then my first official vlog february 16th of 2022 now that date to today is a year and four months so i've been creating content on youtube for a year and four months. That's how I got started into YouTube. So, how do you actually get monetized? Let me tell you, it's a mission. <laughs> And it takes a lot of time, a lot of patience, and a lot of commitment. But if you enjoy creating vlogs or just content in general, it actually goes by quite quickly, Shim. So with YouTube, there are thresholds. There's a threshold for everything, for getting the community tab, everything. So with being monetized, you need a minimum of 4,000 watch hours, which essentially means people have watched your content for a total of 4,000 hours. It's a lot of time. And then the second thing you need is a minimum of 1,000 subscribers. That is very doable, but also differs from person to person. Some people have a massive following from other platforms, and just bring them onto YouTube and then are monetized in like a week. And then other people, it takes a year. Some people only get monetized, let's say, at 3,000 subscribers. And that's because their subscriber count is high, but their watch hours are low. Does that make sense? So you can have one without the other, but you do need to have both of those things to get monetized. Now, the very next thing is to create a Google AdSense account. That's something you can actually do before you get monetized. Where I have experience with Google AdSense is that I have a company, Creative Studio, and essentially we work with Google Ads. So I already had an account and I was familiar with the details and the platform because it's a lot of admin and let me break that down one you need to declare if you are a company or an individual and i decided from the get-go that when i get monetized i wanted to be paid into my business account that is because i want all my income to be centralized that helps the tax and all these things so as the director of the company i had to submit my identification and then like my company registration documents and you need to sign a form but there are four different forms that you must choose from this i found confusing because i was like I don't know what you're talking about. Because obviously, Google, YouTube, they are based in the US, which means it's that economy, it's that system. I'm here as a South African, like these words are different from my South African terminology and wording and jargon. It's all different. So Google is your friend. If you get confused or anything, go ask Google. There's a ton of information out there that's really helpful. Cool. After you sorted out the business or individual things, they then have to verify your address, your physical address. That is where they send you this little letter right here. This little letter. <laughs> it's such a stressful one, guys. Because it essentially has a six-digit code that you need to open, go back onto your AdSets account, type it all in, and then it must verify like, oh, okay, the address that we sent this letter to, you've now received it. All right, it is your address. Fantastic. Let's move right along. But the issue is, and you know what? They tell you it should take, what, two to four weeks. This thing did not take two to four weeks. 
I'm like, do you know South Africa's postal system? Do I need to write a letter or something on behalf of all of us? Because it was a couple of months that I waited for this letter. So at least one of them are helpful. They're like, we'll send you three letters before we need to make an alternative option for you. But until such a time, they've got four months in total for one code. And then they will send you up to three letters of this code. It's the same code. I think that's something that was confusing to me and I didn't get online. It's the same code. They will send it to you up to three times. And you've got, it's either three or four weeks to request a new one so once you've hit request sit and wait and sure enough mine didn't come three or four weeks later i then clicked request a new one sat waited it is so frustrating because after you've actually monetized you're like yeah i've done it i'm here i've arrived no ma'am <laughs> <laughs> this little letter will humble you. Okay, now you've verified the things, you've got the code. Next, you can get paid. Finally, there is a payment threshold. You have to reach at least 1,000 Rand to get paid by YouTube. You will not be paid 250 Rand or 700 Rand or 580. No. On Google AdSense, it'll actually show you a bar for the month of like, hey, you are now at 167 Rand for the month. Now, something to note that I think actually needs to be normalized because this is something that I didn't get online during my research. It's like you may not necessarily get paid every month. So if you get monetized in January, you may only get paid in March because it took two, three months for you to accumulate the money on your channel to then reach that threshold. Does that make sense? The great thing is that Google doesn't take the money away from you. And please feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but what I've seen <laughs> is that if you've made 900 Rand over three months, you get to keep that money. And then when you've reached that 1,000 Rand threshold, then you'll get paid. It's not a thing of it has to be within an X amount of days. Unless your channel is already doing the things and analytics are popping, like be prepared to not be paid every single month. After getting monetized, that is the new goal, is to be paid every month. One last thing to note is that they will take tax off of whatever amount they pay you at the end of that month another thing sorry is that you'll be paid between the 21st and the 26th if you don't have any holds holds basically is google holding back your payment that can be for various reasons maybe you haven't confirmed your identification or whatever the case is but if you don't have any holds then they'll pay you between the 21st and the 26th okay now that that's out of the way one question people always ask me is like what is your payment based on and ma'am when i tell you it's complex ciao honestly i feel like I feel like no one actually knows. <laughs> because no two channels are the same you can have two channels with 2,000 subscribers each but they will be paid completely different amounts and that's because it's based on things like CPM RPM and that goes into your click-through rates all this YouTube terminology but essentially and a very summarized version is how long are people watching your videos for are you posting a 20 minute video and people are watching 15 minutes of it at a time what is your average are people watching your complete video and then clicking on your channel and like watching one after the other I think I'd say basically you should reward rewards you for keeping people on their platform and I think that that's what's called a YouTube partner program so that's being monetized it's essentially saying YouTube is partnering with you the creator to bring content to the people and then generate an income for YouTube and yourself as the content creator so algorithm things are very important is your video trending and I'll touch on it a little bit more at the end in terms of like what can help your channel grow and be monetized and get paid and all these details we'll get to that for now let's talk about how much you YouTube paid me at my very first paycheck. Now it isn't a ton of money, it's maybe enough to, I don't know, get my hair done, have lunch with people and say the bulls on me, like a, like a good solid three people. <laughs> It's really not anything ridiculous. YouTube is very much an investment platform. Like, it takes time, but it is so worth it. So I got monetized on January 10th, 2023. So that was six months ago. I reached my payment threshold in April of 2023. And then I got paid in May of 2023. And that amount was a whopping 1,168 rand and 40 cents which is something i'm so proud of it's actually crazy because i'm like i've been making content at that point i'd been making content for 11 months so to see it you're like yes come on when fmb gives you that notification you're like, come on <laughs> all this effort i've been putting into creating content editing sourcing music like coming up with different ideas everything it's like Woo. And yes, it's not a lot of money. And I've probably spent a whole lot more money just creating this content than that actual check. But like I said, YouTube feels a lot like an investment platform. It's only up from here. And so with that, what I've learned is that us small channels, people who don't come onto YouTube being famous on another platform or whatever the case, like starting from zero, we depend on our family and friends for a solid amount of time before we reach our own audience on the YouTube.
YouTube platform. It's so important to have good visuals. Things like branding needs to be on point. I'm a graphic designer, so I genuinely enjoy creating my visual brand. I actually change it every six months because I love it that much. Things like thumbnails are really important. The title of your video is making them want to click on your content. Having solid software and equipment, like no, you don't need super fancy things. You don't need to take out a mortgage to get some equipment. To this day, I use my phone. The great thing about YouTube is that as you grow, you're able to reinvest in the platform. You're able to reinvest in your content. So if YouTube is a space that you want to get into, don't be discouraged. Start with where you're at. I do have a whole system and things that I use, software, equipment, like I said, that I use. So if that would be something that is helpful to you, let me know. I'm more than happy to make a video on what I use, how I get little bits like on the screen, how I edit. Like I can make an entire series, honestly, on the different things of just creating content. So let me know if that's something you want to see. Beyond that, um, I think we've pretty much got it all done. If you have any questions, you're welcome to pop them down in the comments. Like whatever works for you, I'm happy to share. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Even if you're just passing by, listen, if you're just passing by, please do me a solid. Just hit the like button, please, because it helps my channel. If you want to, watch the ads too, because help me, help me. <laughs> Righto, have a good week. Like I said, if you're new, feel free to binge my content. I'll put it at the end so you can just click on it and everyone will be happy. So, yeah. Bye. Funny enough, if you're not new to my channel, you know the spoon. Yes, I absolutely took it from my mother's house and brought it all the way to the UK.